welcome to your second core fire workout if you've not done the first one please do check it out i'm gonna link it in the description box below and i also mentioned what the difference is between your core and your abs but in a nutshell it is very very important to focus on your core as well as your superficial abs to get a nice strong stable core which can help you with functionality posture balance and just in day-to-day -day life that being said today we have another 11 minute basic core workout no equipment needed with this all of it is going to be on the mat and we have seven exercises two rounds 40 seconds each with a 10 second transition we're also going to be focusing on the back today as well so hopefully you enjoy this workout if you do do not forget to hit the little bell and that thumbs up button below it really helps my channel grow and it will notify you of new workouts anytime i upload one let's get on with the workout okay guys we are starting by lying down on the mat we're gonna start with some supermans 10 seconds on the clock so hands in a w by your side you're gonna lift up nice big inhale lift your arms and your legs back down let's go inhale up exhale down lift as much as you can i really want you to squeeze those shoulder blades really squeeze as if you're holding something in between back down your thigh should come off the mat slowly no need to rush lift up proper forms more important than how many reps you get in your back is a really important part of your core helps with your posture helps with stability throughout the day in three in two in one all right we're coming up we're going to be holding a plank now low plank on your forearms so elbow directly below your shoulders step it back into that plank hold tuck that core in squeeze those glutes i don't want to see this but you're tucking the core in don't want to see this either beginners knees down just pull that core into you pelvis is tucked in really focus on your form guys get used to the form in the first round remember to breathe and then you can do it better in round two 15 seconds 10 5 4 3 2 1 and drop all right coming up we're going for a bird dog crunch now so right hand and left leg you're gonna lift it up crunch it in and take it up same side exhale in inhale out now i don't want this back arching tuck that pelvis in beginners if you can't do both just the leg crunch it in and out slowly i don't want you to rush Fifteen seconds. You might not feel it much, but make sure that your form is proper. Arms and legs are straight. Core is tucked in. You're not arching that back. Core stability is all that. Two, one. Relax. You're switching to the other side. You might not feel the burn like an actual ab worker, but it's really important to work on this, guys. The other side. Let's go. Exhale, crunch. Inhale out. Three, four, keep going, I don't know why I was counting the reps, 20 seconds here, good job, 10, 5, 2, and one all right returning to the side we're going to be working on those side abs i mean the side core side plank here in three in two and lift up beginners if this is too tough drop one knee hold but just make sure you're lifting that bottom hip hip up core is tucked in body is in one straight line i don't want the leg coming forward or going back or you falling onto the back 
Come on, guys. 15 seconds. Remember to breathe. Do not hold your breath. And five. Three, two, one. Drop. We're switching to the other side now. In four, three. Beginners, you know what to do. One knee down. And lift. Hold it, guys. Hold it. Lift that hip. I don't want the lift, uh, sorry, hip sagging down. Lift the hip. These are the most basic core stability movements you can do. There are a lot more, but I will keep putting them up on my channel as time goes by. You need to start with the basics first. 15 seconds. Who my body is starting to shake a little bit. But we got this. Five, three, two, one. All right, on your back. We're gonna be doing an ab hold. Beginners, I'm gonna start you off. Everybody can start off there and then follow through. Toes on the ground, shoulders back, lift your upper body up, shoulders off the mat. Try not to push your neck upward, just hold. Every 10 seconds, I'm gonna switch. If you can, lift your legs up, double leg tabletop. Really crunch. Advance, this is for you. Straighten those legs. Really pull that core in. If you want a more advanced version than this, lower that leg slightly. You can even keep your hands under your lower back. In two, in one. Good, relax, we're going for round number two. We're starting with those supermans. Now that you know what exercise it is, how to do it, focus on your form even more. Round two, come on. Inhale up. Exhale down. Remember, really squeezing the shoulder blades and down. Upper and lower backs working here. The entire posterior chain, that is your back chain. seconds guys you got this as a bonus if you can hold for the last five squeeze those shoulder blades squeeze those glutes and relax we're coming into a plank now forearm plank in three in two in one hold remember beginners you can drop your knees tuck that core in I'm gonna add a challenge here this is completely optional if you want to, lift that right leg and hold. This is completely optional guys, you don't need to do it. Good job, keep it steady. If you are lifting the leg, switch. Push that upper body forward. Try not to lift your back up too much. Five. Two. And one. Woo! All right, we've got that bird dog crunch. Beginners, only the leg if you can't do both together. Right hand, left leg. Goes up, lift it up. Exhale, crunch it in. Inhale up. Two. Three. Straighten those arms all the way. Straighten the leg. Again, beginners, if this is too tough, only the leg. 15 seconds. Four. And one. We're going to switch to the other side now. The focus should be more on keeping your posture right. That's more mentally taxing. Let's go guys. That's why stability work, functional work is a lot tougher. It doesn't burn, but you need to focus on so many things at once. That's mentally taxing and it's not easy. You got this, come on, we got this. 
These are simple exercises yet effective. Five. And one. Alright guys, side plank now. In three, remember you know the modification on your knee. And hold, lift that hip, last three exercises. How long has it been since you actually held a side plank? And focused on this exercise. And not just doing crunches, just doing ab exercises. Again, like I said, there are a lot more advanced core stability workouts, exercises, and we'll slowly get to them. You got this now, 15 seconds more. Tighten that core, pull that core in, engage it. Do not give up. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Drop, switching to the other side. Last two exercises. In four, two, and lift. Come on guys, you got this. Do not drop. Beginners, knees down. Do not give up. 20 seconds. La boca. I'm even singing for you guys. Though I don't know if you need it or not or want it or not rather. 10 seconds. Elbow below your shoulder. Remember to breathe. 4, 3, 2, 1 and drop. Alright, last one. We've got ab hold. Beginners, I'm going to start you off like last one. Pick whatever level you are at and do it accordingly. In one, hold. Beginners, you're here. Intermediates, you're here. Pull that core in. Lower back is flat. Advanced, you know who you are. You know what to do. I'll switch midway. Again, if your neck is hurting, you can support your neck with your arms. Advance, you're here. Just hold it there. Crunch up. You got this guys. Breathe. Do not hold your breath. If you can, lower. Option to keep your hands below your butt. As much as you can without lifting your lower back. In five. Almost there. In three. Steady. And relax. Just hug your knees into your chest. You guys are done. Good job guys. Like I told you, you might not feel the burn like an actual ab workout. But... It's really important in improving your balance, stability and posture and a good core workout would include exercises like this and ab exercises which we will get into later on but I just want to separate it, give you the basics first so that you understand what you're doing, why you're doing it and you can have good knowledge about how to proceed. I hope you like this workout. If you did, please do let me know in the comments below and don't forget to hit the like button and that little bell to get notified of new workouts. I will see you next time. Bye.